Hello friends. In this session, we will see a very very important concept of controllability and observability. Let's begin. So now speaking about what is the meaning of controllability and observability. Before that, if you remember, what is our state space model? Because we cannot forget that model. That is very very important for us, right? So it is nothing but x dot equal to a x plus b u, and y is nothing but c x plus d u. This is the thing, right? Now, what is the meaning of controllability? What is the meaning of fully controllable? What is the meaning of fully controllable? Let me tell you. Let me tell you that. See, I may not be able to tell you the whole thing now because it is a very very important topic in your M Tech. But yes, I will try to give you some story so that you will understand that yes, this is the meaning of things, right? Controllability or observability, anything. Now let us firstly discuss about controllability. What is the meaning that a system is fully controllable? Let us understand this. We know that a particular system will have many states, right? Like x one, x two, x three, and all. Right? Many states it may have, and we know that those states have to be controlled by some input. Right? Those states have to be controlled by some input. Controlled by input, which is nothing but your u. And if you see here also. If you see here also, x is a state. Then x dot is what? It is the rate at which my state is changing, right? X dot is what? Rate at which my state is changing, and x is just the state. And if you see that my input u, my input u is present here, right? So. My input u will be responsible for controlling the states x such that you get a proper rate of change of x of those states. You may say that, sir, we did not understand anything. Let me give you one practical example. Let us think that. Let us think of a stock market example, for that matter. Right. Let us say you want to invest your money. Right. And let us say you want to invest your money into some shares. What is shares? Stock market only. Don't just just try to understand the concept story, right? So, for example, you want to invest your money in the shares. So, while investing your money in the shares, you try to understand few parameters regarding that particular company. Means they see shares will be of a particular company only, right? So you try to understand some parameters of the company. Like for example, you may see some charts, or you may see some. Let us say, yes, you may do some analysis called as fundamental analysis also. In the sense, what is the management of the company do? Is that Good or not, or let us say some balance sheets of the company. Balance sheets in the sense, let us say, means yes, whether it is in profit or it is in loss. Those all things, right? You all saw that thing, and then you said that yes. Now I will invest my amount in this particular share. No problem. Let us say share A. Now you have seen all these parameters, right? You have seen all these parameters: charts, fundamental analysis, management, balance sheets, profit and loss, etc. Let me say that these are the states. Let me call x1, x2, x3, xn, and all right, x4 and up to some states, right? So now, if these are your states, are all the states under your control? Yes. You saw those states, right? You. Saw the charts, you saw the analysis, you saw the management, you did everything, right? So I can say that for time being, your system or your investment is fully controllable, right? Why? 
because you have already studied all this you know everything about state 1 you know everything about state 2 you know everything about state 3 so if you know everything about the states and your input yes basically your investing is the input right now just imagine a situation rather than a situation which has already happened let us think that you have considered all these parameters you have considered all these states but something happened a disease named corona came in year 2020 and the market crashed and the market crashed so whatever you invested all your money gone now you tell me was this factor under your control was this factor under your control no this was not in your right which means what which means what there can be there can be some states can be some states which are uncontrollable which are uncontrollable so in such a case what you do is what you do is you design a controller you design a controller to control only those states which are not controllable right so for example if i try to if we just talk about our example itself then what will i do is i will rather use some stop loss here i will use some stop loss here means if for example if i let us say the share price is let us say 100 rupees right and i'm expecting that the price will go up up to let us say 150 rupees this is my target right i just buy that particular share here so now in such a condition because it may happen corona can come so in such a case what will i do is if the market rather than going up it just comes down then at a lower rate let us say 95 i will sell the share such that my investment will be safe that yes definitely i will lose 5 rupees but it's okay you no know? rather than losing 100 rupees completely it is always better so i hope you are understanding the concepts right so in such a case in our state space analysis what we do we design a controller which will control such uncontrollable states this is the concept of controllability controllability what does that say it's it states that it may happen that some of the states are not controllable in such a case when some of the states are not controllable you should know that which are the states which are not controllable or rather i should know that whether the system that i am working on is it controllable or not that is very important right so we have understood it now let us think of observability let us take a story only example for example this is you let me consider that you are a boy for example assume that you are a boy assume now there is a girl this is a girl let us say this is a girl right this is the girl basically she is not just a girl she is your crush for example she is your crush right now see you try to be together you just said her that yes i love you she said okay i love you too she said and now you are both in a relationship now you are both in a relationship right this is what happens generally now imagine this is you and this is your girlfriend you go on a date you go on 
on a date to some restaurant to some restaurant okay now you and this means you are here you are sitting here in front of you she is also sitting she is also sitting right now what happens is waiter comes waiter asks you what you want to order then you ask her what you would like to order and now for example she says that no it's okay you can order anything you want you can order anything you want now this boy what he does he orders what he wants let us say he orders chicken let us say he orders chicken but now this particular girl she said what she said that you can order anything you want so he said okay so he ordered chicken now the moment he ordered chicken waiter went inside the kitchen brought the chicken brought the chicken now in in front of them they have this chicken plate this is chicken plate now imagine a situation this guy does not know that his girlfriend is a vegetarian this girlfriend is a vegetarian now in such a case she will definitely become angry or not she will definitely become angry now what happens here is boy thinks that what have i done why is she angry he doesn't understand because he had asked her what should we order right but she said yes you can order anything you want but then he does not know see see mark my words mark my words this boy does not know that she is a vegetarian does not know does not know or i can say that this boy does not observe that the girl is a vegetarian see basically this particular girl will have so many other parameters like parameters in the sense for example let us say that girl is beautiful that girl is polite that girl is humble right but at the same time she can be vegetarian also no so let me call that these are some states x1 x2 x3 and let us say this is x4 now you did not know that she is vegetarian you did not observe this particular state of hers that she is a vegetarian what not observed to you this particular state of being vegetarian is not observed by you and you order the food and everything went in vain so in order to avoid such a situation we need to check whether all the states are observable or not because if you would have observed that yes she is beautiful i know polite i know humble i know kind i know everything i know she is vegetarian if you would have known this if you would have known that your girlfriend is a vegetarian you would have not ordered chicken you would have ordered something else right so in such a case so in such a cases what are you supposed to do you are supposed to observe all the states so whether you can observe all the states of the system or not that will be given by observability concept now let us see some tests to check whether the system is completely controllable or observable or not there are some tests let us talk about them yes so the first state that we have is the gilbert's tests gilbert's test all right now i am not going to teach you this gilbert's test why because this gilbert's test is only applicable for jcf and dca what is jcf dcf jordan canonical form and diagonal canonical form yes we might do some problems on this we might do some problems on jcf and dcf and at that time i will talk about this test for sure 100% but for time being i am not interested in it for time being i am interested in another test which is called as kalman's test kalman's test what does he say what does this guy say because see this test is applicable for everything 
it is for a general case general case any case you can apply whether it is in jcf or ccf or ocf or any matrix it is applicable right now yes so what is the step see step one what you have to do yes so this test say that you have to follow two steps only what are the two steps step one step one is what to find controllability matrix controllability matrix by c and this matrix is nothing but b a b a square b a to the power n minus 1 b right and the next matrix which you have to form is nothing but observability matrix which is given by phi naught and their matrix is nothing but c c a c a squared up to c a n minus 1 what is that i will tell you don't worry and the step 2 that you have to follow is check whether these matrices phi c and phi naught are they fully ranked or not fully ranked you may not understand it now but i will give you one trick what is that trick you just find the determinant of phi c and determinant of phi naught if the determinant is equal to zero then it is uncontrollable if this determinant is equal to zero it is unobservable and if it is not equal to zero then it is controllable and if it is not equal to zero then it is observable as simple as that this is the concept now how to remember this formula this is very important right how to remember that in the sense see this is b let me call this a bachan amita bachan you know of that let me call it as bachan what is it this is a b this means amita bachan then what is next a two times a and b which means it is abhishek amita bachan then aishwarya abhishek amita bachan everything you just go on doing it and you will get up to here no problem this is how you can remember it say so, sir we have understood about phi c how to remember phi not very easy don't worry see you are my students shortcuts will be there don't worry do you remember that in our controllable canonical form we have studied that a observable was nothing but equal to what a controllable transpose right yes what about b what about b b observable b observable was equal to what c controllable transpose right c controllable transpose so if you just see here now what to do is very simple just replace this b by c and this a by a a will remain a only all right so yes c here so now you have got this c so in place of b you have got c similarly in place of ab now you have got ca then again in place of a square b you have got c a squared that's it that is a shortcut because b observable is equal to c controllable that's it it is very simple i hope you are understanding this point so this is nothing but the kalman's test to find controllability and observability now let us solve one numerical on it let us see so yes x dot equal to 1011 11 one, one into u 10 into x and 0 into u this is your a matrix this is your b matrix this is your c matrix this is your d matrix what you need to check same whether it is controllable or not and it is observable or not that is what you have to check 
Is that okay? Yes. Now, how to do that? Yes. Step one. Step one is what? To find phi C. What is phi C? Bachan. Amita Bachan. Yes. Clear, no? C. Order is 2 cross 2, right? And if you remember, it used to go up to a to the power n minus 1. It used to go up to a to the power n minus 1. If you put n equal to 2, it is going to become a only. a to the power n minus 1, it used to go, right? If you put n equal to 2, because n is the order, then it becomes a squared minus 1, which is nothing but equal to a. So yes, a, b up to a, b only we have to check. How to do that? What will be a, b? Let us try to find a, b first. a, b is equal to what? This is a. What is a matrix? 1, 0, 1, 1. What is b matrix? 1, 1. Now, if I find them, what do I get? Row by column. First row by first column. We get 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0. No problem. 1 plus 0. Now next. 1 into 1 and 1 into 1. So yes, 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1. So what you get is 1 and 2. Is that all right? Yes. So now what is phi c? Phi c is going to be b. What is b? b is nothing but 1, 1. And a, b is nothing but 1, 2. That is phi c. What will be determinant of phi c here? Determinant of phi c is going to be this into this minus this into this. So it becomes 1 into 2 minus 1 into 1. What is that? 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, it is controllable. It is controllable. Now, let us think of observability. What is observability? Phi naught is equal to what? C, C, A. How to find C, A? Let us think of the C, A here. What is C? C is going to be what? It is C, A, right? So, what is C, A? This is C. So, C is what? C is going to be 1, 0. This is C, right? 1, 0. And what is A? A is as usual. 1, 0. 1 1. Now if I solve them, what do I get? If I solve it, what do I get? Row by column. 1 into 1 is going to be what? 1. 1. Then again, row by second column. First row by second column, it is going to be 1 into 0 is 0 and 0 into 1 is 0. So it becomes 1 0. This is C A. So if you replace it here, what do you get? C is going to be 1 0 and this is going to be 1 0. Am I right? 1 0 1 0, which means what? Yes, determinant. Determine this also determinant by the way. Determinant of phi naught is equal to what? Yes, 0 minus 0, which is 0. The moment it is 0, what does that mean? That it is not observable. Moral of the story. Moral of the story is that a system can be controllable, but it may happen that it is not observable. Or it may happen that it is observable and it is not controllable. Or it may happen that it is controllable as well as observable we will take n number of sums over it at the end don't worry anyways yes so now this is the way we have seen the example regarding the controllability and observability thank you